Well, there you have it. Another Jacobson lives on. This one was stuck so bad that I had to heat up the cylinder up with a torch and pour ice water in the piston and drive it out with a sledgehammer. But she runs now. I uh, put this magneto off a two-cylinder Wisconsin on it. I couldn't find any gears that were exactly the same size, straight gears. And my buddy had a set of these bevel gears, so I mounted the magneto at 90 degrees, which turned out pretty good. And as you can see, it starts pretty good. And this is probably from 1930s, early 30s engine of a real lawnmower. Um, I'll turn the camera around here and give you a shot of the engine. Hang on. I mounted the mag on the steel plate, made the gears, put the motor in the magneto, got a real simple carburetor to it, there's my oil, got to shut that off, it floats right at the bottom of the gas tank when it fills up the carburetor. It shuts it off and it just sucks the gas out of the float bowl. There's the gas jet setting. Not much to it. Real simple. Made this crank start up set up for it. Made this big bitch pipe for it last night. It's kind of loud. He's a two-stroke, and another Jake lives on. I got this other one here that I had in one video, and I got one more here. There's my flathead Ford V8. That's my next project. It's supposed to have shouting on it, but it doesn't get hot. We've got the shrouding for it. it. Goes like that. I think it looks a lot cooler without the shrouding. Then I got a 1914 Fairmont Model Q engine and pieces here. That's another four-way project. This goes on a pup pup car from a railroad work car. If anybody wonders about the rat rod project, I got that back in the shed. Never got much done on it. Got a Model A cowling on it. Too dark to see anything, I guess. It's still here, and I'm still alive. Someday I might get her done. Let's see if this other thing will start again. Hang in there.
Well, there you have it. Another Jake lives on.